for a DHCP server to receive a DHCP client broadcast. Both DHCP-enabled interfaces must lie on the same broadcast domain or network segment. How does a DHCP server receive the client messages on a different network segment since broadcasts cannot be forwarded across networks? Sometimes, you do not always have to run the race all by yourself. You can relay the packets of the server if there's a relay agent on the broadcast domain of the client. Today, we'll talk about the DHCP relay. Hello guys, we'll talk about the DHCP relay. Why do we need a DHCP relay? Is it to forward DHCP packets from a client to a server in another network segment? While that may sound true, let's look at it this way. A newly initialized DHCP client first of all broadcasts a DHCP discover packet on the network to discover active DHCP servers on the link. If the DHCP server happens to be on another network segment, this broadcast will never get to the DHCP server because broadcasts cannot be forwarded across networks. A quick fix will be to move the DHCP server to the same network segment as a client. However, when the network expands and more devices are connected, it would be uneconomical to install a DHCP server on every single network segment or broadcast domain. Only one DHCP server needs to be configured, while each gateway is configured as what we call a DHCP relay, in some literature referred to as an IP helper. Moving on, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you'll be the first to know when we release a new video like this one. For this DHCP relay setup to function properly, First of all, ensure that there is a reachable route to the DHCP server from the DHCP relay. That is, the DHCP relay knows exactly how to find the DHCP server. And also ensure that the interface on which the DHCP relay functionality is enabled is reachable to the DHCP client broadcasts. When the DHCP function is enabled on the network, UDP port number 67 on the DHCP relays and the DHCP server will be open and the DHCP clients use the UDP port number 68 for communication. When a DHCP client sends a broadcast packet, it is received on the configured relay interface, and then the relay generates another packet to be sent to the DHCP server. The server then sends the response packet to the relay, which in turn forwards to the client. Finally, all communications between the relay and the server is unicast, and the communication between the clients and the relay is the same as if the client and server are on the same network segment. This means a broadcast discover packet from the client to relay, followed by a unicast offer packet from the relay to the client, and then a broadcast request packet from the client to the relay, and finally, a DHCP acknowledgement message from the relay to the client. This is the end of today's presentation. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on that bell for active notifications. Thank you for watching.